feel from Bright SDK team. Today I'm going to show you some examples of how app developers who partnered with us chose to integrate our SDK into their apps. Paying attention to some important steps in the integration process will ensure quick implementation, short app review time, and most of all, better conversion, which means maximizing your revenue. Let's look at this WebOS application for IGTV as an example. It is up to you to define what would be the trigger to showing the offer screen. In the right on app launch, after an ad was presented, at the end of a level, or anything else that makes sense to you. In this case, it was right after the introduction phase. You are free to add your own messaging that prepares the users to accept the next offer in order to get the promised value. This is our standard consent screen. Some elements in it are dynamic, which lets you clarify the value to users, the first line, the accept and decline button text, the game name, and the icon. In fact, you can even design your own custom consent screens to match your app look and feel. It should only include some important text we include in our guides. The value you offer your user in exchange for their consent to Brightest Decay offer is completely your decision. It can be to remove ads, unlock some premium features, unlock a stream, get an extra life, or even to support the app developer. Anything that makes sense to you and fits the app flow can work. In this example, it was turning from a guest to a user. After the user accepts the offer, it's always a good idea to visually demonstrate the value to them, validating that it was provided as promised. In our example, it's a confirmation message. Other examples could be life added, no add symbol, character unlocked, coins provided, etc. Another efficient way to trigger the office screen display is to add a banner to the app shop in case it has one. You must give users an easy option to opt out if they choose to. This is typically done as part of the app settings menu. Note that our integration guidelines define clearly what this screen must include. The web indexing title, a value text, learn more or QR code that leads to Bright SDK information page. That being said, you're obviously allowed to try and convince users not to opt out by reminding them the value they're about to lose if they do so. You could even suggest an extra value in case they remain opted in. Note that once users opt out, the web indexing should indicate clearly that it's off. When they choose to opt back in, they must give their consent again. Important note here, we always speak to users in terms of value, either get or lose, and refrain from using the terms opt-in, opt-out, which don't mean too much to regular users anyway. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful for you, and I'm welcoming you to find some useful links uh, here below the video and contact us with any other question you may have.